Hi, I'm Ellie, and today I wanted to answer one of your questions. How to stick with those habits that we know are good for us. How to stick with those habits that you know are good for you. Like moving, yoga, exercise, meditating, um, journaling, reading. And especially when you know that you've made time for them before and then all of a sudden you fill off the wagon and, and aren't doing it anymore. So how to stick with those habits that you know are good for you and make them maybe a daily practice or a more consistent practice. And I wanted to share with you three simple steps give you the opportunity to start small and then really set yourself up for success. So the first step is to simply choose one thing that you want to work out work on so for example for me it was like okay i want to wake up and meditate for 30 minutes and i want to practice yoga for an hour and then i want to do my journaling um an intention setting for the day and my gratitude uh, my daily gratitude so that's a lot and when we put a lot on our plate we're kind of a lot all at once then we don't do it and then we might even feel bad so start small pick one thing so out of all these healthy habits let's say you want to start first with a daily meditation practice so how can you make it super simple and easy for you to actually do it every day or on a more consistent basis and one way to do it they call this like sandwiching it in between two habits that you already do so for example for me as far as meditation goes what I decided to do was as soon as I wake up and before I go to the bathroom to go pee, because I always wake up enough to go to the bathroom to go pee. So in between those things that I already do, I decided to do a quick meditation. So I just wake up, I lay on my bed, I close my eyes, maybe put my hands on my heart or somewhere in my body, and I just take a few deep breaths. I think about what I'm grateful for in the day. I think about my intention for the day or what I want to create or how do I want to feel and it just takes me a few minutes and then I'm off to a great start in the day so you can you know make this simple meditation practice put it into your day-to-day -day life and then from there it's something simple small that you can do and from there you can grow and start building in more of these good habits if you'd like or for example if you would like to do more movement or practice more yoga then you can just simply the moment you roll out of the bed or right after peeing if you really need to go um, just do a few simple exercises like do a full body stretch and reach the arms up and maybe you know extend one side and the other stretch each side of your body Maybe go into downward dog and take a few deep breaths here. In just like a few minutes of that, you're going to notice the difference. So that's one easy way to, you know, at least get a little bit of movement and yoga into your everyday life. And so that's the first step, choosing one thing and making it super simple and easy for you to do. Um, the second step would be to kind of schedule it in or using this sandwich method where you put it in between two things that you already do. And then the third step is to share it with others. To like actually, instead of just thinking about that you wanna do this, share it with somebody else. <laughs> Emmy's right here with me. Share it with somebody else that is especially someone in your household. So whether it's your significant other, your partner, your husband, um, a friend, your roommate, um share it with you know the people that you live with and tell them like hey I, I really want to make this a daily habit and then if there is something that they can do to support you like say okay I'm gonna need this time in the evening to do this like for example for me with Jay if I want to do a little bit of yoga in the evening I can ask him like oh okay so from this time to this time can you watch Emmy so I can do my yoga so you're kind of setting yourself up for success. And 
But another thing too about sharing with others is maybe too you can find a friend or maybe even your significant other also wants to start incorporating these habits that you know are good for you and then you can do it together and there's power in doing things with the people that you love and doing it together because then you're holding each other accountable you know that other person is going to show up and so you're going to show up and do it as well so having someone to share it with is also a great way so just to quick recap, um, set yourself up for success, start small, choose that one thing that you're going to build into your day-to-day -day life if you want to make it a daily habit or maybe just choose how many times a week you're going to do it. Maybe it's weekdays and not weekends. Just make a choice. Choose one simple thing. Make it simple and easy. Start small, you know, make it a small dedicated of time, maybe meditation, you're going to start with two minutes, maybe five minutes, and then you can build up from there. And same as yoga, maybe you're going to move for just five minutes or 10 minutes, stretch in your bed or whatever, make it simple so that you do it. And from there, you can start um, building up and and doing more. And also I recommend to do it for a few days straight, just like sticking with it for at least like 30 days, uh, maybe even more if you'd like. And then once you start doing that, you'll start to see that it just becomes easier and second nature. So part of that sandwiching it into things that you already do is what makes it easy for you to just do it. So that would be the second step to like schedule it in or sandwich it in into things that you already do. And the third step is to share it with others that are going to support you in your journey um, in building these habits that you know are good for you. So I'm going to actually make a little small practice of each. I'm going to make a small meditation for you and I'm going to make a small yoga practice for you. Not small, but short. Um, in a short, maybe uh, self-reflection journaling exercise also for like maybe having like a very good morning mindset. I'm going to do these short exercises for you and then I'll share them in a video so that you can do them and start incorporating them into your day-to-day -day life. Hope this was helpful. If you haven't already, make sure to sign up so you receive more yoga and conscious living resources to... It just kind of support you through life's journey and that will help you to be your best self and live your best life. If you have any questions or anything special that you want to submit, I'm going to include a link below. So you can sign up with the link below. You can also submit a special request or a question and I will personally answer it for you. Thanks so much for being here from my heart to yours. <laughs> Diga hola. Hi.